Good morning, y'all. This is the view from the front porch. It is the view from the front porch, Saturday morning, May the 23rd, 2020. And normally I'd take a break from what I've been doing during the week, but I don't want to do that today. I want to talk about the commands of Christ. And I feel like what I need to do is I need to put this next command with the previous ones we've talked about, especially the last one we talked about, which was turn the other cheek. You can't turn the other cheek without this command. So let me read it to you starting in verse 43 of chapter 5 of Matthew. This is what, it's in the King James. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye, and one of the reasons they used ye in the King James, it distinguishes it from a singular you and a plural you. A singular you was one person, a ye was many people. It was the plural form, so that's why that's there. So he's speaking to all of his disciples at one time. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publican, publicans so? Publicans was like a synonym for sinner. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. And the whole idea there is that love is the quality that you must have, agape love, that unconditional love, that benevolent love that only comes from God above, that, that's talked about in 1 Corinthians 13. It's not a romantic love. It's not the love of a, a, a parent for their child or a child for their parent. It is totally giving love. It's the love that God has for us. It's the highest love. If you have that highest love, then you can look at your enemy, just like God looked at his enemies, and be willing to pray for them and bless them and encourage them. So I wanna encourage you today, because you're a child of God, not in order to be a child of God, but because you're a child of God, that you love your enemies. By the way, the idea of being perfect is not the idea that you'll never sin again. It's the idea of being complete. It's the idea of being mature. And as a matter of fact, you see this in 1 Corinthians 13, when Paul says in that love chapter, when I was a child, I did as a child, I spoke as a child, but when I became a man, when I became mature, I put away childish things. Mature Christianity is marked by its ability to consistently love even the unlovable. So I wanna challenge you today, love your enemies. You can love your friends and not be a believer, but you be special, you be a mature Christian and love your enemies. I want to encourage you guys to join us tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for Sunday School on our Facebook page. We're going to be looking at accepting and then loving one another. Then 9.30 and 11 a.m. are our services, and we're going to continue our series on why do bad things happen to good people, or rather, better title is, Why Do the Righteous Suffer? So we want to encourage you to be involved in that. I pray that you enjoy the day. It's, it's humid out, just letting you know. So God bless you and you have a great day.